Donald and Douglas are twins and had arrived from Scotland to help Sir Topham Hatt, but only one engine had been expected. The twins meant well, but did cause confusion. Sir Topham Hatt had given them numbers, Donald 9 and Douglas 10, but he was still planning to send one engine home. There was a brake van in the yard that had taken a dislike to Douglas. Things always went wrong when he had to take it out. His trains were late and he was blamed. Douglas began to worry. Donald, his twin, was angry. You're a muckle nuisance, said Donald. It's to leave you behind, I be wantin'. You can't, said the brake van. I'm essential. Ah, are you, Donald burst out. You're nothing but a screeching and a noise when all's said and done. Spite doggy, would you? Take that. Oh, oh, cried the van. There's more coming should you misbehave. The van behaved better after that. Until one day, Donald had an accident. The rails were slippery. He couldn't stop in time. Donald wasn't hurt, but Sir Topham Hatt was most annoyed. I am disappointed, Donald. I didn't expect such mm, clumsiness from you. I had decided to send Douglas back and keep you. I'm sorry, sir, said Donald. I should think so, too. You have upset my arrangements. Now James will have to help with the goods work while you have your tender mended. James won't like that. Saving money with Groupon is crazy simple. I can buy all my beauty appointments even when my hands are busy. The little girls all cried. Pepito just picked at his dinner. Soon he grew thin, and then he grew thinner. And when he began to look like a stick, his mama said,